Yo, what's up, happy people? You know something about me that you probably don't know? I jack with almost everyone. Like, I love pranking people. And today we're gonna prank some animals. Check this out. My wife, Sarah, is actually rebuilding our RV right now. And she just pulled this mirror out of the RV and replaced it. And she was gonna get rid of it. And I said, babe, why would you do that? She's like, what are you gonna do with it? I said, we're gonna go put it out and see what animals think when they see themselves in a mirror. For example, see how that's, see how that, that mirror is sitting there like that? Imagine if you're just a deer and you come along and you're like, what's up? Where'd you come from? See what I'm saying? But uh, never done anything like this before. We've got a couple trail cameras. We're ready to roll. Let's see what happens. Right in here. I want to get it so that the animals don't expect it to be there. Dude, look how gnarly that looks. I mean, so just, just come right here, Aust. Look at this. You don't even, that doesn't even appear to be anything. That's like the world's best blind. We may be onto something, folks. Could you imagine if we built the whole entire blind like that? Like, so imagine, like, let's say I was a deer and I was walking by and I was just cruising. Like if I, that's eerie to me and I'm not even a deer. I'd be like, bro, there's me and a dude with a camera. This is freaky. Can you see me and myself in yeah. the mirror? Yeah. Question below, what do you think they're gonna do? Do you think they're gonna take off running like crazy animals? Do you think they're gonna ram it? What do you think they're gonna do? I have no idea, but I think this is going to be a really cool experiment. All right, now we got to put up a trail camera. We've been doing a little scavenging, figuring, checking things out. We're going to put the camera on a post right here. This is probably the most curious I've ever been for a, for an experiment like this. Like this, we could get some astronomically cool results here. Got us a nice little lighter knot stump here. That'll look very natural. There you go. There you go. Real camera time. This worked out good because now we can kind of adjust our stick. All right, you guys, we've got our camera set. And all I broke was a shovel.
All right, you guys, I just picked up the trail cameras. And when we started this video, Rob was in perfectly good health and we set this mirror up in the woods and we had no idea it was going to be this entertaining, but how funny was that? If you're new to the channel, Rob is our main host here at Deer Meat for Dinner and I'm Austin Crocker. I'm the cameraman, but the past couple weeks, man, he's been real sick with COVID and he's struggling, but he's getting better. And I promise you, as soon as he gets better, he's going to be back in all his glory. If you like seeing these type of videos where we go out and do something a little out of the norm, maybe with trail cameras, maybe we, you know, film animals crossing a stream or a log, or maybe we'll put a teddy bear out in the woods and film how animals react to a teddy bear. Just different creative ideas that Rob and I bounce off each other that don't always make it to a show. If you'd like to see stuff like that, leave it in the comments below. Those are simple, easy videos. I mean, how funny was that, watching that squirrel do backflips and run around? It was almost like he was trying to outdo himself. That stuff is funny. And if you enjoy that stuff, again, like I said, let us know. For those that have been asking for an update on Rob, he's still pretty weak, and he is not ready to be back in front of a camera. And I know he appreciates all of the love and support and prayers that him and Sarah have been getting. Continue to leave them in the comments below. It means a lot to him. But for now, that's all I got for you guys. Take care. God bless. And we are gone.